Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to a seventh update for the 2024 Glastonbury Festival. So here we go again, time to bring you more Glasto data. We are up to update number seven. We are now reaching business end of Glasto updates. As you always see, the first week is where we're looking for trends. The second week is where we start thinking about putting in a little bit of detail. So we can start taking uh, the detail during this update a little bit more seriously, I think. And I should get on a bit for you in a moment. I know, but a lot of people are going to be heading down to Glastonbury like now and tomorrow, and then even more will be going down as the week goes on. So, um, you know, if you're off to Glastonbury like now or this evening or tomorrow, then hope you have a lovely, lovely time. There'll be a couple more updates um, for those that are going down a little bit later on in uh, the next few days. But uh, yeah, I should go on with the seventh update for you in a second, just to say that if you enjoy the content on the channel, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Hello to all of the amazing Glasto girls. I've got to do some more shout outs as well. You remember on the first video, I explained that I've been in hospital for 11 days with a fractured ankle. And so, uh, earnings of a child being a little bit subdued, a little bit low um, while I was away. And I said, if you can afford to give a little donation to Gaz Webbies and to myself, then please um, thank you. So, and the response has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been overwhelming. So, thank you so much, everybody, for all of your incredible donations and support. And I'm going to say thank you so much to the following. Asian Tanok, Will Martin, uh, Will Martin, even. Um, and thank you so much to Mike Duckett. Thank you so much. To Abigail Ledbetter, and thank you so much for your kind of generosity to Rachel Hughes. So that is Adrian Tannock, Will Martin, Mike Duggett, Ab Abigail Ledbetter, put your teeth in Gab, and Rachel Hayes. Thank you so much for your donations. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Not just to you, but to all of the people that have donated. Um, you know, with for, from Glasgow goers um, over the past uh, week or so. It is so, so kind of you to do this for me and for Gazworthy. So I thank you all so very, very much for all of the support. Thank you so much. I hope you've all been enjoying this season of Glasgow updates as well. But we're not done yet. We've got to do this one. And I'd say we will do a couple more uh, in the next few days for people that go down a bit later on in the week. Right, so let's start off. Tomorrow, goodness gracious me, how did that happen? We are now just 24 hours away from the first Glasto goers arriving on site. I think the first uh, Glasto goers that arrive are the volunteers. So, hello to all the volunteers. And uh, let's have a look then. So, this is how things are looking tomorrow, Monday the 24th of June, um, with high pressure reaching from the Atlantic into West Europe, a nice strong and stable reach where other air temperatures looking warm to very warm. And about high pressure, it's a university dry day, and as we've seen today, there will be bags of sunshine as well, and check out those temperatures, low to mid-20s, pleasantly warm. Um, what's not to like and enjoy about that? Uh, well, we go through to the 25th of June. More volunteers will be arriving. Again, we're still under a nice little uh, ridge of high pressure. Not, it's not a little ridge of high pressure. It's quite a big ridge of high pressure from the Azores side all the way up to Scandinavia. But in any case, at about ridge of upper air temperatures continue to look warm or very warm. Again, we see pretty much a university dry day. One or two showers maybe through Northern England, Scotland. Don't need to worry about those down in Glasgow. it would be uh, loads and loads of sunshine. And if anything, it's a bit warmer. Temperatures sort of mid to upper 20s Celsius, suggesting about 26 for Glasgow. You might be able to add a degree or two onto that. So 27 is not out of the question. 27 in old money is 81 Fahrenheit. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, well, this is Wednesday the 26th of June, so gates are opening. Ticket holders will be arriving to pitch up their tents and also soak up the atmosphere. Still just about under high pressure, but pressure is weakening a little bit. Lower pressure in the Atlantic, or low pressure in the Atlantic, starting to head towards us. Those upper air temperatures continue to be looking warm or very warm. Uh, on Wednesday, and another dry day. It's just there might be a shower here somewhere or southwestern England. I think it'd be quite unlucky to get one of those. But uh, basically, it's a mostly dry, fine day with an outside risk of a downpour. And temperatures, well, in London, we're uh, close to 30 degrees there, 86 Fahrenheit. Not quite as hot as that as we come out west. But even so, 26, 27. 
Fahrenheit, maybe 28, distinctly possible there, going into the 80s Fahrenheit. Activation through the Thursday, 27th of June, more ticket holders arriving in preparation for the main part of the event. I know there are events taking place as well through the Wednesday and the Thursday at uh, Glasgow, so, uh, you know, there will be entertainment provided there. Uh, and pressure is weakening further. We've low pressure developing to the northwest of Scotland, so there's probably a cold front here pushing eastwards and southeastwards across the country, introducing cooler and fresher air from off the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures still look very warm, locally quite hot in the east, but starting to become cooler from the west and from the northwest. Now, this particular model isn't making much of that cold front, just suggesting perhaps a few showers. I'd be a little bit dubious about that, a little bit wary about that. The front might be more active, so Thursday could bring a band of rain across the country, it might even see a few thundery showers or thunderstorms developing um, as that transition from warm to cooler conditions, um, you know, develops. So, a bit of a question mark about Thursday in terms of uh, how active the front will be. That will be introducing cooler air. Still very warm, locally quite hot potentially across eastern regions, I think, starting to turn cooler from the west. And how quickly that transition happens, you know, all of that is to be resolved in the next day or two. And so that's why I'm going to do another update for later Drasso uh, arrivals, um, probably tomorrow, uh, maybe Tuesday. One sap to get through, we go under a little transient ridge of high pressure then on Friday the 28th of June. This is the first ever main part of the uh, festival, of course, with lower pressure developing out in the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures then are looking a lot cooler across the board with the air coming in from the west. It's a mainly dry day under that little transient ridge, although there is an area of wet weather waiting in the wings in the Atlantic. Again, that could push across through Friday. It might push across Friday night, etc. That sort of timing is still to be determined. And the temperature edging down, so we're sort of into upper teens or low 20 Celsius, probably a lot more comfortable, I have to say, for um, anybody at uh, Glasgow Bear. And then that takes you to Saturday 29th of June. This is the second day of the main part of the festival with a uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures about average for the time of the year. Under that area of low pressure, outbreaks of rain spreading eastwards as well. So Saturday looking like a genuinely unsettled day. You would have to prepare for uh, rain then. And temperature, because there's cloud and rain coming in from the west, temperatures are generally uh, a little bit cooler as well into sort of the mid-teens Celsius. When the sun comes out, it will feel pleasantly warm, of course, given the strength of the sun at this time of the year. And then the last ever main part of the festival is Sunday the, 20, uh, Sunday the 30th of June, I should say. And then we're into like a show, westy wind, with one area of low pressure clearing into the North Sea. Another low is in the Atlantic. Those upper air temperatures looking a little bit on the cool side. There's showers, particularly in the north, more rain waiting winds in the Atlantic. Again, timings of all of that to be determined in a day or two's time. And temperatures are again sort of mid to upper teens. So up to Thursday, very warm, potentially hot and mostly dry. A transition takes place on Thursday to something cooler. It might involve a band of rain. It might even involve some thunderstorms. So we've got to wait and see how that transition works out. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're into a different regime, an Atlantic-based regime that brings showers, longer spells of rain, potentially also drier periods in between and cooler temperatures. We go through to um, Monday the 1st of July when everybody's packing up and going home. And then that next row has moved in from uh, the west. Upper air temperatures look quite cool. Wet weather spreading eastwards. Uh, some of that quite heavy. And the temperatures are pegged back just to the mid teens Celsius. We seem to have the pattern here. And uh, the overall pattern uh, with this seems to be for a relatively um, dry, warm, very warm, potentially quite hot start to the Glastonbury Festival. And then it starts turning, um, you know, a little bit cooler, a little bit more unsettled when we get through to uh, the latter part of the festival. Um, right, the timing's on all of that to be determined. I'll do another update for you either tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, and they'll probably do the final update on Wednesday. There won't be any point doing any updates after that because everybody will be, <laughs> I think, at Glasgow from about uh, Wednesday night, Thursday onwards. So we're coming towards the end of another season of Glasgow updates, but they've been fun. I hope you've all enjoyed them. And, uh, you know, for the later arrivals, a couple more updates still to go. If you've enjoyed this um, broadcast and the season of Glasgow updates, then please can you uh, consider giving 
send a donation down to us via our PayPal page. Link is in the description. And again, thank you so much, everybody, for all of the support and the donations that we've had through this season. We'll end it there. The eighth update coming up either tomorrow or Tuesday. So um, check back for that if uh, you're not down at Glasgow. Um, and for those of you that will be down at Glasgow tomorrow, well, just have a fantastic time. And uh, let me know, you know, how the weather is when, when the festival's over and you get back home. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.